Welcome. When I got back to sculpting around two years ago, Shadow Beast was one of the first things I tried to make. And that majestic creature at the start of the video was the result of it. I am Renaissance Gremlin and this is my second attempt of making a Shadow Beast. Gothic is an absolutely legendary game in my country and that's mostly thanks to Polish dub made by CD Projekt Red. Powiedz no, czy to coś z przodu twojej głowy to twarz czy dupa? And that translates to tell me, is that thing in front of your head face or an ass? So for a 11 year old me it was a very impressive line. Those of you who know something about sculpting probably noticed that while making the first Shadow Beast I have no idea what Armature is and because of that he collapsed under his own weight which kinda makes this creature look like it's trying to do a push up. Meanwhile this one made with polymer clay and proper Armature is an absolute giant that barely fit into my oven. It ended up as 80 centim centimi pe 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 pe. Yes, my spoken English is still absolutely excellent. And trying to improve it is one of reasons why I started recording audio again. So let's go back to the topic how big actually is this Shadow Beast. It is 80 centimeters high, 25 centimeters long and also 25 centimeters wide. And this time I managed to record pronouncing numbers in one take. When we compare it to wood or traditional clay sculptures, it's not that big. But for the terms of polymer clay or 3D prints, it's an absolute giant. And that actually made it a bit problematic to take a good shot of him with my other sculpture, Behemoth from Heroes 3 and I wanted to take a good shot of them together because Gothic and Heroes 3 are very dear to the hearts of Polish gamers. Ah yes, the most important sculpting tool, baking foil. If you wonder why I used two colors of clay for this sculpture, I actually also have no idea. Usually I'm just doing this to identify the pre-baked parts, but for the fur of this one, I did it because of reasons. Head and upper limbs were probably the most difficult parts. In both cases it basically came down to the fact that I have no idea how to treat Shadow Beast anatomy. I always felt like it is supposed to be a really big tiger but somehow mixed with bear and it also somehow has spikes. And let's don't even bring those abominations that Shadow Beast were in Gothic 3 and 4. And maybe let's don't bring Gothic 4 at all. Those games hurt these creatures basically at the same level as my first attempt of sculpting them. That was my favorite stage of sculpting head. I somehow turned it into a sheep-like creature.
sculpting part was done. The only thing that went wrong in Vinyl Bake was part of front leg that got burned. Nothing that can't be fixed with a bit of green stuff. And back to the things going wrong, here is my first attempt of using airbrush. And what went wrong with it? Everything! I got myself an air viper. The cost was 500 of Polish SWAT. So for the day that I'm recording this, 20th of February, it is $125. So basically the medium range of airbrushes. And it was absolutely terrible. It was constantly clogging, paint was not coming out. Every possible problem with airbrush, it happened. At the beginning I was sure that the problem were caused by me mixing paint with wrong proportion. But then I got the, exactly the same problems with dedicated airbrush paints. I got so tired and frustrated with it that I benched the Shadow Beast and started a new project. Which was Luna from Heluva Boss that I was making for a friend. Which basically makes her a fully commission. So from now on I can call myself a professional artist. One of the reasons that I made this Shadow Beast so big was to test airbrush on it. So I bought another airbrush. This time much cheaper by Fine Art. It cost me 160 Polish złotych. So around 45 dollars. And this airbrush that was less than half of price of Air Viper caused zero problems. Maybe I'm just too stupid to use Air Viper or there was a, some problem with the one I got. When I was done with airbrush issue, it basically came down to dry brushing, stippling and washes. So that was it, my second Shadow Beast and two years of my sculpting progress. If you made it that far in the video or skip to see the final result, consider leaving a like and I will see you in the next video. That probably will be Charlie from Hasbin Hotel since my head is still full of Hasbin Hotel. So here are the final shots with main menu music playing in the background. Bye.